New at 6, backlash tonight across the state after a texting scandal involving the Calumet County District Attorney, the group now targeting Ken Kratz. The woman is a victim of domestic violence, and the DA was prosecuting her attacker. Good evening, I'm Terry Sater. And I'm Kathy Michael B. New at 6, 12 News, Colleen Henry joins us, and Colleen, domestic abuse advocates are stunned the prosecutor did not face any sanctions. Yeah, Kat, the DA says he's ashamed, but he claims he broke no laws or legal ethics rules. That has outraged victims' rights advocates across the state. The scientific evidence, the big fire that Mr. Avery had. Most know DA Ken Kratz is the man who prosecuted convicted killer Stephen Avery. Tonight, his texts are making a different kind of headline. Quote, are you the kind of girl that likes secret contact with an older married elected DA? The riskier, the better. Investigators released copies of 30 texts Kretz sent the woman over three days till she called police. He wrote, I'm the attorney. I have the $350,000 house. I have the six-figure career. You may be the tall, young, hot nymph, but I'm the prize. It's awful. Carmen Petrie runs the Sojourner Family Peace Center, one of several state advocacy groups that have condemned Kratz's conduct. The message that it sends is that those of us who are supposed to be safe, for survivors are no longer safe. State records show that as the Department of Justice investigated, Kratz argued he'd committed no crime or ethical breach, adding, you should be well aware of my 25-year reputation in the prosecution community. It is disturbing that you have not noted that reality. Kratz argued his texts weren't sexual, that he thought his advances were welcome, despite their language. Quote, what's the sticking point? Your low self-esteem and you fear you can't successfully play in my big sandbox? In the end, the DOJ found Kratz committed no crime, and lawyer regulation wrote the victim, although District Attorney Kratz's communications with you were inappropriate, it does not appear to involve possible professional misconduct. And when we have a, a district attorney that feels entitled to, to use coercion and con control, we got a problem. Petrie says the institutional response is as troubling as Kratz's conduct. It is disappointing to stand outside of a system that is supposed to stand for justice and see uh, sort of the lack of response. Now in those state documents, it's evident Kratz wanted to keep the incident secret. Neither the victim nor Kratz would comment today, and the Wisconsin District Attorneys Association says the group will address the Kratz case tomorrow at its normal meeting. Now, the Office of Lawyer Regulation won't comment either, except to say Kratz is an elected official, and perhaps the proper forum to sanction him is at the polls. All right, we are going to follow up.